Hey there guys, it's Metro, and today I'm going to provide a video accompaniment to help you guys create a high-definition texture pack for Pokemon Reborn or Pokemon Rejuvenation or probably any Pokemon fan game that you could access the graphics to. So as you see, King Coin, a guy on the Reborn forums, talented creator of things like this, obviously, has created a texture program to smooth all the old, lower quality textures. Uh, he's added some instructions here, but after doing this, I found like it was a little bit beyond my expertise. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. Uh, so yeah, once again, the page here is going to be in the description. You could check that out. But either way, you go down to open their command. Uh, so hopefully you guys know how to do that. But yeah, if you have the search bar, or whatever Windows you're using, etc., you just got to run the command prompt and then we're going to follow his instructions all right so uh, download the obviously you got to download the texture smoothing program too it's right there then once you have it on your computer uh, i would recommend putting it on the desktop like i have here yeah, actually it's right here yep so we have the uh, the king's texture smoother all right and that program is going to allow us to make the game's graphics look more like this and if you guys have played the you know the VBA and stuff like that you've seen this texture option here where it just kind of smooths the the rough edges and it looks really cool I think it does look good so I'm gonna play rejuve like that now but either way uh, so what you do is you open the command okay and then we follow his instructions open command prompt that's number one navigate the directory containing to the directory containing the program so we're gonna do the desktop so you just type in CD which means change directory and then desktop all right and you can also do this to whatever directory you want or you can also just put the program in the users directory so you don't even have to do this step uh, after that we need to engage the program so we're gonna type Java space all right there's a space doesn't look like there is at first but there is J A R space again and then Kings texture smoother dot jar and it is not case sensitive so you don't have to worry about that then you press the enter button as you see the program has been engaged and now we need to enter the path to the folder containing the files we would like to convert so we're going to do this on a older version of Pokemon Rejuvenation. All right, I have it here in my program files, uh, but I want to show you guys a small error that I seem to come through. Now, I'm not a pro at stuff like this, so I don't really know why this is happening, but to my knowledge, you can easily drag the folder there when you're entering the path. And as you see there, it puts it in quotation marks, and if you try to enter that, it returns this error so maybe one of you brilliant guys out there could tell me why that's happening but instead of doing that we're just going to move the rejuvenation back to the desktop and it does seem to work so I'm not sure if that's because that's the where we currently are at on the desktop if that's why that's happening but either way in case you run into that there you go so we're back to where we started just type in the thing again Java jar Kings texture smoother dot jar and it's going to engage again. Now we will just drag it from the desktop, which is up here, and right onto the program, and it automatically is going to convert it into the syntax we need. Press enter, and now it says, Please enter the path to the folder you would like to convert files to be placed in. So we want to make sure that we're using you know the same folder. Uh, so you could also just use the graphics here, but either way, we'll just go with once again rejuvenation and Oh, you got to actually make sure you click on the command. I've done that plenty of times. Now it says, would you like to enable diagonal edge blending? Yes or no? This makes diagonal edges appear smoother. The answer is yes. That's the whole purpose of the, the program. So you're going to do that. And then would you like to enable before and after mode? Results will show image before and after. Uh, I did this, and I, I don't really see a point to it, so I'm just going to go ahead and say no. Uh, if you don't want to do this, then don't do it. You know what I mean? There's no reason to keep the old. You could always just download it again. So I'm going to put an N. That means no. Now it says, what threshold would you like for detailed detail preservation? A number between 0 and 8. I recommend, spelled wrong, either 4 or 5. Four will give you smoother look, but may shrink small details such as eyes, unlike five, which is slightly more pixelated. So there's actually some examples of that on the forms. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, so here is the slider that he's discussing there. As you see on the far right, eight, that's like kind of like the, the same as it is in the game typically, and zero is really, really smooth. But as you see, you lose some eye quality there because it's smoothing the dots on the eye. So yeah, five, you can see the dot above the eye to kind of give it that elongated look. 
but four is kind of like the smoother. So that's your choice, whatever you guys want to do. I like four. So we're going to type in four and we're going to press enter once again. And guess what? It's going to start doing it. It's going to take a very long time, guys. It's going to try to, uh, if you do it like that, it's going to try to obviously uh, convert files that aren't even, you know, they're not even files that can be converted. Uh, what you should probably do is just insert the graphics folder if you want it to go a lot quicker. Uh, but what I did was I made it so literally every file in here, including audio and data and all that, are going to try to get restructured, but that's not going to work. So yeah, you can just, just choose the graphics folder to make it a little bit quicker. But either way, eventually it's going to finish, and it's going to look like I showed you before. Just one more time. We'll go through it again, kind of look at some random ones here. Let's see. That's a cool-looking one there, man. I do like the shinies, but ooh, shadow. And anyway, that's it. It should work for any game that you have access to this folder on, uh, or you know, perhaps you can get access to it in some other way. That's that's for you to find out. But either way, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions about this process, let me know. I'm really thankful once again to. Uh, here's a thread here, King Coin. Okay, that's his username on the Reborn forums. He's an awesome guy. Obviously, he's uh, hooked us up with this program. So make sure if anybody has any thanks, it's to him and not to me. All right, but yeah, see you guys in the next video.